Password accepted. Hey guys, it's your girl Cameron and I'm back at it again with another video. And today we are going to be talking about women in the music industry. I'm kind of talking about different dynamics and using some recent situations as examples of how I think the dynamics are between other women and how women, and I would say specifically um, female rappers, right, have to navigate the space because I think with rap, it's a whole different ball game. We're gonna get into it. Please like, comment down below. This is gonna be kind of like an analysis of a bit. Please also subscribe down below if you wanna see more commentary content from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Let's go. So to get this video started off, something happened over the past weekend. Um, if you guys know, Nicki Minaj and Koyla Ray dropped a song called Blick Blick. It was Koi's song, Nicki was featured. And we all know right now, like a Nicki feature is like the hot ticket, the golden ticket, Willy Wonka golden ticket, that all of these rappers, especially female rappers, really want, okay? Like it has been, girls have been fighting, crying, getting upset because Nicki Minaj has been very selective with her features. Long story short, Nicki and Koi, they went on live to talk you know, for the song. And Koyla Ray was kind of just talking about her experience in the industry thus far, cause she's a newer artist. And she was like, you know, I've been battling and dealing with like the hate X, Y, and Z. I'm just gonna post the clip right here. You know, even through the hate, nigga, I grinded through that shit. Still to this day, just grinding. And now look like me, number one on iTunes, me, me over a million people. Can you girls stop, like, can, you, can you girls, can you girls stop talking about hate? Y'all have, y'all have never, I, listen, I promise you, y'all have never experienced hate like the way this, this guy right here, me, has experienced it. So don't wish for it. I'm telling you, what y'all have experienced is nothing. Y'all yeah. have just experienced some of the, the growing pains of artistry and like, right. of, of, of social media. Like, y'all be thinking y'all have experienced hate and trust me, you ain't experienced it yet. Right. Okay. A lot of y'all have gotten really, not coddled, but y'all have been, pe people have been uh, nice. People have been like gentle with y'all, I think, you know? And that's cool because who gives a shit? You know, um, when I when I felt that you were beating up on yourself, I spoke up for you because I just wanted you to be like, bro, this too shall pass. And I had no intention of doing a song. I didn't know we would end up doing a, a song. But I'm just saying, can people stop acting like y'all got it hard? Y'all don't know what the fuck it feel like to really have it hard in this industry, okay? No, but, but Nikki. And you see Nikki's face was kind of like, and I was like, you know, kind of trying to figure out what she was talking about. But you don't even know what hate is, like experiencing hate. Y'all don't know what that shit is because I've been through hate. And then she said, well, you new girls, specifically talking about female rappers, she was like, you guys are coddled basically. So two things. First of all, the whole coddled comment, and this is why this goes into the industry situation. A lot of the things that women go through in this industry that maybe Nikki was going through or take it even further back, Lil' Kim was going through, Foxy Brown was going through. That stuff should have never had to happen. Like Nikki shouldn't have had to have it that hard. Kim shouldn't have had to have it that hard. But being a woman, the needle always moves, something happens, we progress a little bit, but we still find ourselves oppressed in certain ways that just men aren't going to be. And that goes for any section of life, but we're specifically talking about the music industry. So I felt like that wasn't a fair um, situation. The other thing was, I think she might've been referencing the Nikki hate train that she was getting. And I do agree that it did seem like a huge flip Kind of happens y'all might like me you might hate me after this video but i do think there is something to say like speaking to people's experiences and it kind of bothers me when other women when you have a young girl sitting here saying to you in the industry you know i've dealt with this she wasn't even like throwing herself a pity party and for you to be like you don't know what that is you have not experienced it how are you going to tell somebody what they've experienced enlighten me and then if we're being technical, Koyla Ray, and I'm not the biggest Koyla Ray fan music wise. I have nothing against her as a person. Like she seems cool. I actually really think that it's admirable how confident she is in herself and how she just does her own thing. But Koyla Ray, when she came out, they went out of their way to make a meme out of Koyla Ray performing and everybody's just standing there. Yeah. 
ears right, your ears right. Like, she did receive a lot of hate. And another thing, too, is she's received a lot of hate for her body because she's decided that she didn't want to get her body done. She's very confident with how she looks. And in a way, she's not a carbon copy of all the other girls who are kind of the prototype or the stereotype, which you would say Nicki Minaj kind of said. I was like the little sister with Wayne and Mac and all these boys. All I would hear them talking about is big butts. <laughs> and... I didn't feel complete or good enough, good as that, as the other, as those girls, because I'm like, oh my God, you know, this is what you're supposed to look like in the, in, in our, in the rap culture. And I don't look like that. Where Lil' Kim previously set, she's making her own way. So when somebody comes out and they're different, they are going to receive some more hate than maybe somebody else who's kind of doing the same thing that we've seen a time or 20. So I would not deny, I think Nikki has gotten a lot of hate from people, people switching up, but she's received a lot of love that a lot of artists have not ever received or accepted. And I feel like that was not fair. As another woman coming from someone in the industry, you should not be sitting here saying, oh, you don't know what hate is. Some of these girls are starting their careers out on social media, right? Like people can say things, they say whatever they want, they hide behind the screen. So I do think that they might even have it harder in an extent to a different degree. Not like being a pioneer, like being the only girl, but as far as the obstacle, because a lot of female rappers, like Meg The Stallion has experienced a lot of hate. Some people say it's warranted, but regardless, she's received a lot of hate. Cardi B has received a lot of hate. JT has received a lot of hate. Like there's a lot of rappers who receive a lot of hate because people hate women. And all their experience aren't mutually ex exclusive. But just because you went through this and these girls don't have to deal with exactly what you did does not mean that you need to minimize their experiences in the industry. Like why can't it just be like, I support you, I see what you're saying, share your experiences and move on. I'll post some of the comments, um, but on the shade room, there was a lot of people who kind of agreed. They were like, no, you missed the mark. How are you going to tell that girl what she's been through? And it's been very clear, like people were very hard on Koi specifically. So I think that there could have been some grace extended and I hate to see that. We all need to kind of listen and learn and grow and give each other advice and support each other. Like I mentioned, you know, the way that women are treated. Maybe Nikki was, you know, she had a lot of standards to hold up to, whether it was Kim or her being the only female having to hold it down. Like she would hang out with the gang of guys and all this stuff, like... There's a lot of pressure in that. There is. But just because the girlies aren't experiencing what you're experiencing, there's still a lot of discrepancies and discriminations towards women in the industry. Women have to go on stage and put on a damn show. Like, Koyla Ray, I don't think she's a bad performer. I think she's very hyper energetic. And I think she has a good time. But people went so far out of their way to make a meme. And I have to admit, some of them were kind of funny. But they went out of their way to make a meme, like, Nobody's dancing at your concert. That's embarrassing. But then you have these other rappers who are men who get on stage. They just walk around. They don't have any choreographies. They don't have no dancers. They're not even rapping live. And everybody eats that shit up. So in that case, I think more so than directing the, the conversation towards, yeah, well, you didn't experience this kind of hate, so you don't know what hate is. I think directing it towards we receive different kind of hate and differentiating to how that might differ when you were out versus now nowadays. Because a lot of the times the needle just moves. These issues don't go away. And that brings me as well to recently Lotto. Um, she's been doing a press tour because her album's coming out. I think I might review her album. I kind of want to. Her, her experience with some dudes in the industry and specifically there's a song on her album where a guy is having, he's a rapper, a male rapper, 
is having a hard time because she wouldn't respond to a DM or she wouldn't sleep with him. Like he's making it hard for her to get this feature through or whatever. Like she doesn't even want to drop the feature no more. But the album was due. So, but she says that type of stuff happens a lot and that is undoubted. But a lot of women, it's funny because a lot of people have always tried to paint this narrative that it's the other way around. Like women have to sleep to get to the, where they want to. Women in the industry have to sleep to get to the top. That's in the industry, that's in corporate America, that's whatever, right? But to me, it sounds like it's the other way around because like the opposite flipped reverse. These guys are using their power to assume authority and to kind of be sluts, which is something that they always used to paint on women. So I found that very ironic, but the whole point is it's not fair. Women should not have to like, hey, I don't wanna sleep with you, bro. Like, I still want my feature though held over their heads. And this is where I'm saying, I wish more women in the industry would speak up a little bit more about it. It's like, I'm a new female rapper in the game. I wish somebody could have gave me some insight about how this stuff really go. Like you hear like, oh, female rappers have it harder, but I really wanted to give like a little insight as to like what specifically makes it harder for a female rapper. I didn't it and find some unity in that. I think everybody feels like, okay, especially with female rappers, you know, we all have to be unified. We all have to do this. We all have to, you know, stick together, but it's not coming from a genuine place. I think some people will feel that way and they're like, well, we got to do it for sure. I got to kiki with you for sure. But I think if a lot of these female rappers really stu stuck together and they were sat together, talked about their experiences, I think that's where the genuine understanding and support would come from. The other female artists, other female rappers hit you up after that to be like, thank you yeah. for speaking up. Yeah, they did. And I thought that was real dope. And yeah, hopefully without the mess and the drama, hopefully more people can feel comfortable to speak up not shutting each other down and being like well actually like you didn't have it as bad as me so and you have to think about it women tend to be a little more competitive because they we've been conditioned to feel like we have to be right um to get the man to get the husband um to get the career there can only be one and i know a lot of black women experience this comparison like there can only be one black woman who's at the top there can only be one pop star like people are pitting normani and chloe bailey against each other you know like there can't be two black pop stars there's always these things beyonce and rihanna were compared beyonce and this person and this person and this person it's like with women there is an emphasis on comparison and in the industry i think that's where that competitive nature comes from because everybody says well it's female rappers you guys just should all get along and kumbaya Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. And you just expect people, but you have to understand, like, they're kind of in competition because people make them. So I do think if people would open up about their experiences as women in the industry. I don't think everybody has the same experience. There's some girls who probably had a great experience. But I think that's where those, if those real conversations happen again amongst themselves i think we can see a real power shift but right now it's just it's chaotic and you see people trying to talk to each other and stuff and it was interesting because koi after the the collab she got like a barbie tattoo in commemoration for the the feature and i was like i'm like all right i mean i thought it was a little extra but you know that's not my business it's not my body so have fun but in her reaction to when Nikki said it, she just got real quiet. Like, she didn't even try to. I would have been like, you know, with all due respect, I see what you're saying, but I still stand by what I said. I receive hate. Significant. Period. And, like, I understand Nikki, you know, was emphasizing the hate train, but she has a fan base that will ride for her. But a lot of people don't have that. Everyone in the world can hate Nicki Minaj, but her 15 million barbs? That's a hell of a lot of people. I don't know. I just felt like that was kind of um, frustrating. And again, that's where I think that that's that division that happens. I mean, nobody wants to really connect or, um, uh, yeah, connect or relate their experiences in a way that's meaningful and genuine. It's like, oh, no, I had to go through this. You don't know what this is. Oh, I had to deal with this. You don't understand X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, well, we're not going to get anywhere doing that now, are we? No, we're not. So long story short, I want better for women in the industry. And I really hope that 
we can actually be a lot more supportive genuinely of each other you know women should just be able to be kind of like how men how these rappers and male artists can just get on stage and bop out of breath looking dusty not dancing nothing and nobody bats an eyelash people always say well female rappers they just talk about the same thing they just talk about their p words they just talk about you know sex they just talk about all of this stuff but i'm like if you actually listen to male rap songs a lot of them just rap about lean drugs effing bitches that's about it right so we tit for tat we all we all at the same space and of course there's those outliers but it's you notice how the women get the crap for it the most that's not to say no male rappers are subject or not subject to that but it is so apparent and i wish you guys would give us a break okay stop hating just to hate like and comment down below what did you guys think of this video and what do you guys think of that nikki and koi live um and just anything else that i talked about subscribe down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye